Spoils of Conquest is a brand new item in Destiny 2 introduced with Beyond Light as a currency required to obtain exotics and items from raids that are now vaulted. You will need 240 of these bad boys to purchase items and weapons such as Anarchy or the always on time Sparrow. Spoils of Conquest can only be acquired from raids, so cue the world's smallest violin for all my solo players out there. Actually, you know what? Cut the violin! Because today, I am going to show you all how to farm Spoils of Conquest completely solo. That's why Boys Papa MiFi is back, and with me, I bring a guide to help all you solo players out there. I got you back, boys. Get your hands on some Spoils of Conquest. But first, if you're new and only if you enjoy the videos, then feel free to subscribe. I'd love you forever. Also, this video is sponsored by G Fuel. I would normally promote my code, code MiFi, but they're currently running a buy one, get one free sale. And well, you can't use my code with that, but you get two tubs for the price of one and I'm not money hungry. So definitely take advantage of that deal while you can, and then you can use code MiFi. Okay, plugs done. Let's get into the spoils of Conquest Farm for you solo players. So spoils of Conquest, as you probably already know, are acquired from beating raid encounters, but what you might not know is that they can also be acquired from the secret raid chest within the Deepstone Crypt raid. You know, something I don't understand, and this might be a little off topic, but most people that don't have the exotics from raids that are now vaulted don't have them because they are solo players or they just don't have time to raid. So why would Bungie add the ability to purchase raid exotics, but in order to purchase them, you have to do raids? It just doesn't make sense to me, but that's just some food for thought. I am going to show you how to acquire both secret raid chests from the new Deepstone Crypt raid while being completely sold. Each chest awards around 10 spoils of conquest. It will also award actual Deepstone Crypt raid loot, but that's only if you've actually gotten that piece of loot. It'll just, you know, give you either a different weapon roll or a different stat roll in the armor. But this video is just focusing on the spoils. And if done on all three characters, that's 60 spoils a week from the chest alone. You also get spoils from encounters, but like I said, solo guy. These chests reset every week so if you're really looking at getting something like anarchy legend of Acris, or the always on time sparrow then it will take you roughly around a month i think 60 uh 120 180 240 yeah literally a month it'll take you a month if this is all you do and i mean for 30 minutes of your time per week that's not too bad to get your hands on some weapons that took some people months to get through doing the raid and relying on R and Jesus. Starting us out is going to be the first secret raid chest in the Deepstone Crypt raid. You're going to load into the raid and follow the path on screen now. Upon reaching the part where you find the pikes, you are going to use the cheese that allows you to always be sheltered from the storm. So you'll never die due to frostbite. And I know I said I wouldn't do cheese anymore, but I'm not putting in the title or anywhere like that. So uh, just keep this one on the DL boys. In order to do this, you're going to slowly go sideways on your sparrow outside of the dome, the little dome protecting you from the storm until you get frostbite you know, times one. At this point, jump off your sparrow while leaning back into the dome that's protecting you. As you're still in the animation of jumping off your sparrow, your sparrow being actually in the storm and you jumping into the dome, you are going to want to be holding the button that gets you back on your sparrow. I believe that's the X button on Xbox or the, you know, whatever it is on place, whatever key you have your interact button bound to. If done correctly, you will then re-get on your sparrow while being outside the dome, but you'll still have sheltered from the storm or whatever the debuff is called. All I know is that you don't get frostbite, okay? You will then be able to go into the storm and well, you'll never get frostbite. So you can take your time following the path on screen to the first chest, like right now.
Upon reaching and opening the chest, go ahead and clear the area of all enemies and progress through the door into where the first encounter for the raid is. Throw down a raid banner and make sure you have a sword equipped. Go ahead and rally the banner because, well, you're going to need sword ammo. Then head down to the operator basement. From here, we are going to be using an out of bounds method to reach the chest. Follow where I go on screen. I am not going to fast forward this and I'm going to go real slow because one wrong move and, well, you're dead. So take your time and follow where I go. Once there, go ahead, open the chest, and claim your loot. Also, while you are claiming your loot, go ahead and go on over to twitch.tv slash myfi with an underscore at the end and drop your boy a follow if you're interested in actually getting help with completing the Deep Stone Crypt Raid. I will more than likely be doing raid helps in the future, so if you want to be part of that, then go on over, drop your boy a follow so you're notified when I go live. But hey, only, only if you want to. And there we go. That is how you can net yourself quite a bit of spoils of conquest every week completely solo, which you can then use to get your hands on those raid exotics. But now I need something from you. Yes, uh, you. I need you to let me know in the comment section, which raid exotics are you missing? Are you missing all of them? Are you missing only a few? Are you only missing the exotics that are no longer available to get besides, you know, using the kiosk and actually using spoils of war? Which ones are you missing? Or are you just an absolute unit? and you have all of them, let me know. With all that being said, if you enjoyed the video, then feel free to drop a like and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.